Hello students, welcome to the session on Guiding Principles and Suggestive Developmentally Appropriate Practices for Birth to 3 Years, Part 1, Physical and Cognitive Development. Module 1 is on Physical Development, an Introduction. Early childhood is the most crucial stage of a child's life and especially the initial years where the growth and development is happening at a fast pace and at the same time the child is learning to survive in its environment. Piaget believed the child to be a young scientist and so must be left on their own and understand. Whereas Vygotsky emphasized on the concept of scaffolding, a temporary support that adults need to give children in order for them to attain their development to the fullest. Each and every child is very unique and will develop at their own pace. Arnold Jessel was the first person to study children and explain the developmental milestones and provided scales with which a child's development can be ascertained. For a parent, a caretaker, a teacher or anybody in the field of early childhood, should have knowledge of the developmental areas and milestones a child needs to achieve. Knowing the milestones is not sufficient. It's very important to help a child achieve their developmental milestones and at the same time, the adults must never expect a child to perform beyond their developmental limit. In order to keep a check, it's very important to inculcate developmentally appropriate practices either in school or at home. Developmentally appropriate practices are practices or activities practiced with the child to help a child attain optimal learning and development. The major developmental areas are physical, cognitive, language and socio-emotional. In this module, let us understand the physical and cognitive developmental milestones and developmentally appropriate practices to help a child achieve it. Learning Objectives To understand the developmental milestones of physical development from 0 to 1 year, to gain knowledge of the developmentally appropriate practices involved for the same, to apply the knowledge gained to real life situations. What is physical development? Physical development has to be understood from two aspects that is growth and development. Growth refers to the quantitative or physical changes that is visible to all like increase in height, weight and size. Development is qualitative. Development is how a child gains control over their body movements trying to achieve complicated tasks very easily. Growth and development are like the two sides of a coin. A child's skill in handling his or her movements, body parts, depends on their size and muscular strength. Physical development is again studied from two perspectives, gross motor skills and fine motor skills. Gross motor skills refers to the skills the child uses to manage the movement of large muscles which is always involving the entire body. Fine motor skills refers to the use of small muscles, especially the fingers, which are required to perform small, precise movements. Importance of Physical Development Being physically active is a very important aspect of physical development. Therefore, it is very important to engage a child in physically engaging activities to promote optimal physical development. Achieving the developmental milestones while remaining physically active will build foundation for long-term health and well-being, actively engage a child, thereby the learning is at its best, facilitate exploration of the surroundings around them and can practice new skills by being active physically. Promote self-confidence in a child if he or she is able to achieve their milestones and also interrelated in achieving other developmental areas as well. As an early childhood educator, it is important to know the developmental milestones which will help in planning developmentally appropriate practices. Let us look at the milestones stage by stage as well as a developmentally appropriate practice that would be necessary at each stage. Physical Developmental Milestones from 0 to 1 year For better understanding and in-depth information, 
the milestones have been subdivided and care has been taken to cover it extensively developmental milestones from birth to 3 months reflexes like rooting sucking and grasping are used to understand surroundings when laid on stomach can slightly raise the head with support the baby is able to hold head up for a few seconds forms a fist when an object is placed in their hands try to hold tug and pull their own hands continuous repetition of body movements developmentally appropriate practices touching or stroking the baby will stimulate the baby to move the parts that is being touched holding the baby kissing and cuddling exercising arms and legs tenderly giving tender body massage placing objects or toys within the reach of the baby to promote curiosity and hence repeat movements in order to reach out for the object nourishing the baby stimulating reflexes making noises like shaking toys singing cooing to keep the baby alert the baby will make an effort to turn head to look for the source of sound i exercises place colorful objects peekaboo etc placing the baby on its tummy for some time try to talk make sounds hold toys to help baby make an effort to lift up the head which in turn will strengthen the back and neck muscles developmental milestones from 3 to 6 months will be able to roll over pull themselves forward and go in circles will reach out to grasp an object exploring the object by holding it to their mouths able to hold shake and play with object with a firm grip developmentally appropriate practices place toys within the reach of the baby and encourage the baby to try to roll over and reach for the toy rock the baby back and forth by seating the child in a sitting position on the lap ensure the baby's foot touches the ground this helps strengthen the muscles provide child safe toys as babies will have a tendency to experience objects orally introduce toys which can enable the baby to feel different textures developmental milestones from 6 to 9 months at this age babies are becoming more mobile and would be in to crawl try to sit up grasp objects and pull it towards their body will grasp on to supports in an attempt at trying to stand will be able to transfer objects from one hand to another developmentally appropriate practices provide books especially cloth books as a baby will be able to flip the pages over help in fine motor development place objects within the child's reach to encourage the baby to crawl encourage rolling activities balls soft round small pillows adults can use their own bodies as a play station encouraging to child to climb over roll and play introducing toys of varying sizes shapes playing with utensils to make noises encourage throwing objects around encourage a child to hold on to an adult or a sturdy support and stand up children's motor capabilities are advancing at a faster rate and is more advanced at this stage with mobility they experience the freedom to explore more the gross motor skills are advancing as well the fine motor skills some of the milestones are able to sit and stand up without any assistance walk with support each child is unique some can walk with support and some without support crawl up the stairs able to bend pick objects and throw developmentally appropriate practices keep hazardous objects away from the reach of the child as a child will have a tendency to pull and throw objects that are at his or her reach place objects that are child safe playing hide and seek simple catch and run sing action based rhymes introducing building blocks tricycle introduce writing materials that is child safe to help fine motor coordination conclusion the physical development from 0 to 1 year happens at a rapid phase and hence it's very important to understand it in detail